All right, help me, I can't fix it. What am I doing wrong? It's like I get here and I take it back without turning my hips. And then that kind of happens. You're being a baby. I am being a baby. I'm gonna stop being a baby. <laughs> Did Nick, Nick never saw the video talking about the bad lighting? Whatever. <laughs> I thought I'd get you something fixed. Hey everybody, welcome back to Golf Test Dummy Channel where I use my game to help your game. Back out here at Jessica. Sorry I missed last week. I was out sick. I did get in a little bit of practice, but today we're talking about driver. We're going to work solely on the driver. What do you got for me today? Well, I wanted to know just a couple things first when you're playing. Sure. What's your miss? Uh, miss is a block right or a really bad block to the right. Really? Yeah. Um, rarely am I pulling it left. Occasionally I get a hook, but it's pretty rare. I hardly ever hit a slice. It's never been my shot. Okay. So the flight pattern that you're looking for is for it to draw back? Just a little bit of a draw. Okay. Uh, straight ball I'm fine with. Since I don't have a lot of club hit speed, I do like to have a higher launch to get a higher apex. I think, you know, most of the time when I'm measuring it's somewhere between 110 and 120 on average is what I'm shooting for. You notice the launch angle? 14 maybe, somewhere around there. I, I, that's a guess. But I don't know my spin rates really well because I'm on the Garmin R10 and it doesn't actually measure spin rates. It calculates spin rates. So it'll be fun to get on this device and see what my actual spin rates are. Can we add some distance? Because, you know, when I've been measuring on my swing speed, club head speed with driver is normally somewhere between 91 and 93, 94. That is really sad for somebody my age. Typically, um, when you put left spin on a ball, it's going to go further. Right. Um, we'll so take a look at your swing path. Free um, distance without having to add club head speed? Yeah. Makes we'll sense. see. I think what she's saying is, is I'm hopeless. So, yeah. Well, were you fit for that driver? Uh, yes, but it's been a while and my swing has changed probably 32 times. Okay. Don't make fun of my, my speed. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. Oh, God. There's a lot of effort. There's just very little speed. This is not a good strike, not a good swing. That's how you want to start. <laughs> Why I just, is your tempo so slow? Well... I think because if I speed my tempo up, um, I tend to get just shots that make no sense whatsoever. They're like, have you played golf before? Those type of shots. I need you to go like full out, really fast for the ball. Okay. And then we will fix it. All right. Yes. Can you go harder than that? Awful contact. Maybe. I, I don't know what's I mean, happened to my swing over the years because... In your own garage, do you try to go as hard as you can and see what that speed says on the garment? I have in the past. I did a little bit of speed training, but it was several months ago and I managed to get it up to like 96, 97, even some 98. Uh, That's the most you've ever seen? Yeah, since I've been measuring, but I don't, I don't know how to generate more speed. Okay. I don't understand how to make more speed because Trust me, it's like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really. The first thing you showed me was like, grandpa. That was pretty good. Better? Yeah. That right there, distance, carrying out about what, 228, rolling out to 238. If I'm really swinging well, a good day for me with ball speed is 140. Yeah, it's 135 right now. I'm going to go build you a driver. It's going to have to be a child's driver. What's that shaft? This is the Ventus Blue 5R from Fujikura. 5R? It's a regular. Yeah. Oh, my God. Because I don't have any speed. Watch this. Oh. You don't have any speed because you know what? I don't, I don't have to take this kind of abuse. All right, so you're going to build me a new Paradigm driver with, I'm, I'm assuming, a stiff shaft in this, right? If I take that ball away and I just swing as fast as I can, I can swing a lot faster. But if you put the ball there and then I try and swing fast like that, I'm going to miss the ball. 
but also you can't care where it's going to go first. That's a really hard thing. And you can you have a lot more in there than what you're doing. I, well, I hope so because otherwise it's going to be a whole lot of 220 pokes. The only reason I'm doing this honestly is because when I look at the data from the launch monitor, your average spin rate with the last three shots you did was 2,900. It's still too high, not as high as what you were seeing on the Garmin. Yeah. But the back spin rate's way too high. Whatever. <laughs> I think you're going to get at least 15 more with this. I'll stop it. Yeah. All right, so. But you have to promise me you'll give it some horsepower. I will. What's, what are you setting the loft on? Nine. Um, ten and a half regular shaft. Now I'm going to a stiff shaft, nine degrees. It's just a starting point. I know I've got more than that. I've just never been able to get it, no matter what I've done. So let's see, miracle worker here. Is this a child's grip? <laughs> It's a terrible strike. Awful strike. Where did I hit that? Did I hit that out of the hosel? Do you want to know why? Why? Because you slid your left hip way out in front, and that's why you hit the hosel. Okay. Let's stay behind the wall. Yep. And that time I hit a little behind it. It's 230, 240 total. And that's and not even that's not even a great strike. Okay. All right. Still didn't feel like a good Feel. strike. Feel. Your butt is moving toward the ball. When you want more power, Chad thrusts toward the ball and slides. Mm -hmm. So you go under this way instead of rotating behind the wall. Okay. And essentially keeping your butt back. Just terrible strikes. Look at that. That is a big fade. See, I feel like I'm staying back. Look at me. I'm broken. We got tape on the face. We're going to see just how far I'm hitting it onto the heel because it's right now. It's awful. That's toward the toe. That's your back way off. But how did it go spinning right? Big slice. I don't hit a slice. I'm telling you, I've never hit a slice in my life. It came out a big slice in that strike. It's out toward the toe. That go. Off to the right. It's in the same spot. I'm an alien. I'm an alien. Look at, look at it. Low and off the toe ends up this ooh, big swooping slice. Let's think about this logically. The only thing that can possibly cause a slice in ball flight dynamics is an open club face. That's what's happening. Your club face is really open in the downswing. At the top of your swing, you're cupping your left wrist, opening at the very top position. So at P4, it's very open. And then I just bring yeah. it down like that. Yeah. Roll your left wrist out. Yeah. Oh my God. Dustin Johnson. Okay, we're going to try that. Oh, yeah, see, this just doesn't, it just doesn't move. It just doesn't, when I get to the top, I go, or, well, do you want me to make one and just swing yeah. out of my shoes? Yeah. All right, is there anything behind this no. wall? With a very strong grip, too. Okay. That's, I think it's going off the screen. You almost missed the club face. Look, when I swing fast, what did I tell you? I'll miss the ball. And you're like, no, you won't. We're taking the ball away. All right. Hey, here, this grip, it feels like I'm holding number two pencil. <laughs> All right. So you're just looking for fast. So loose is fast. And why can't you hit a ball like that? I think I just snapped my wrist. That was not all out. Look at it. That's even going way right. What is happening? All right. So we're trying the trick where I am putting a super strong grip 
hands, I mean right hand almost underneath. I, I don't, I don't know. I'm an alien. Open your body as soon as possible in the downswing and hit it hard. Mm. Thank you. Okay. There's a draw. It's still a really weak distance. Carrying out the 215, 220, fun. and then 230 is total. Backspin, almost 300, almost 3,000. Ball speed, 135. Launch angle, 11.7. There's got to be people like me out there. There has to be people like me out there where literally you try everything. I've got somebody who played on the LPGA Tour. She's giving me confused looks because I'm not from here. Look, some days are better than others, right? You come in and maybe this is just a bad swinging day for me. And see that swing right there? See how my elbow is still tucked? I've still got a little bit of lag right there. That, if you just turned my body and I was turned, that would be the ideal position. However, I'm in this position about two positions too early. Even if we didn't work on body turns today and we just worked on where the ball was going, yeah. your club face in that frame is just so open. I've never, I've never had an occurrence. I just sat here and how many was that? A dozen or more? I've never had that happen to where I have a dozen shots literally start right and then continue to peel right where I'm completely missing the face of a giant 460 cc driver. I have never had that happen. Not in, in the simulator, not on the golf course, not in, in all the years, I've never had that happen. So I can't explain it. It is very important for people to be custom fit. Don't yeah. need to know that. Well, the next video I wanna do with you is gonna be on getting fit. So when I come in next time, we'll do like that. Like segue into it though, because you're, we're going to see the numbers. The numbers need to change with your driver oh, yeah. in order for you to gain yardage. Well, I'm going to tell you, I, I want to do the the custom fitting video. That'll be coming up. We'll be doing the custom fitting video because I can't continue to look at me go through this. I can't watch this. I have to edit this stuff. I have to see this on video. This this is a very important video though because I know that there's a ton of you out there that are going through this frustration and you just can't get it no matter what you try. And you're seeing me right now on camera have a meltdown and go through this frustration and we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it worked out. You know what? Let me try and put my feet closer together. You can't slide when you do that, right? That's not feet completely together, but it's still a little right. What is that? Low spin head. If you can't spin this lower, then you are an alien. Look, low spin head. Look, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, whatever. God, I feel like my swing is no. like all over the place. No. Oh my gosh, Chad. I know. Backspin is still 2,600. Here, uh, and if if I hit a big, I, I feel like when I get here and then I go uh, like that, it's just gonna cut across and slice. So we're gonna see what happens. Cause Dang, you did it. I'm gonna get mad. Yeah, that's, that's 35 degrees of hip turn. That, look, I go. why can't you do that with a ball? <laughs> I don't know. I can't do that with a ball. Look at that. It's like Fred Couples right there. And here's Chad. I don't feel like we needed I don't that we didn't need to do that. That wasn't important. Oh. Still went off to the right. Still did the same thing. No, you didn't. I'm opening up a little bit. Yeah, you did better there. I opened up a little bit. Oh. That's how I want you to practice at home though. Way better. 25 degrees of turn. You came in with like 13. 
today. So you doubled it. Uh, it's still flying off to the right, but... The club face is wide open, but your hip turn is getting better. A little earlier. I just need to keep the butt back a little bit more. Your ball speed increased four miles an hour. Uh, that is way, way right. Hip turn, 25. Yeah, but the hip turn's better. Uh, yeah. God. That's what you should be trying oh. to do. You know, maybe I should just try. No friggin' backswing. Just take it back to the top. Fire now. Oh. I love the turn there. That is a much better turn. Ah. Uh, so this swing on the left side is where I'm losing my spine angle. I'm losing my butt line. I have almost no hip turn, shoulder turn whatsoever. And then the one on the right, I've got my butt in a little bit better position. It's still not perfect. I've lost some of it, but you can see butt cheek in that one. I've got how many degrees of hip turn in that one? 25. 25, which I think might be my, my all time best. Yeah. So there's hope. I just need to drill it and try to get it, um, to be more like that on just a normal swing. Okay, so what is a good way for me over the course of this week to practice trying to get to that 25 degree open hips at impact rather than that shoulder shruggy, losing your butt, sort of I'm gonna make clay pottery on the pottery wheel sort of swing. What's a good drill <laughs> for me to work on? Is there is there a drill or is it just a matter of, nope, you just go in there and you just try and make better swings? I really think you need to hit it as hard as you can and fire the hips as soon as you can. It's kind of like you got to go in there wide open and let the ball go to the right if it's going to. Less about where the ball's going, more about what your body feels like. Try to visualize the belly button getting to the target before you make contact. Things where you just kind of feel wild. So it's it, you, you almost need to go at it with reckless abandon yeah. and just to hell with the contact and where the ball goes. I feel like that's that's got to be a really hard thing. That's probably one of the number one things that makes it difficult for golfers to change yeah. and make real change is that you're still, you're trying to make the changes, but you put uh, a a sort of precursor on it. You say, I'm gonna change my swing, I'm gonna swing like this, however, I still have to make good contact. I think it's even harder doing it at the range when it's wide, you know, people are around. I'm sure it's easier for you and your yeah. hitting bay to just not care where the ball goes. But when you it's are true. making a body change in our bays here, you can kind of just let go of where the ball goes. You can let it rip, it's padded walls. Yeah. Even with professional guidance and all the latest technology i still had to be pushed making a change has to be about what your body feels like and we've talked you know people have talked about this in past comments and um kind of letting go where the ball is going to go stop focusing on out outcome and focus on what the body feels like feel has to be exaggerated to get to where we want you to be hyper exaggerated yeah making your mechanics better so that you hit it further, which we did see a ball speed increase with more hip turn. Yep, I'll be working on that this week. Hopefully, when I come back next time, we can see some more distance. But be watching out for the club fitting. We're gonna go through that as well. See you guys later.